Hello dear students of standard 9, DAV Mobile Public School welcomes you all in e-learning classes. Here Nitin Pushpa today your social science teacher. Today's topic is Russian Revolution. Students in the previous online session we learned about the socialism in Europe and about the radicals, conservatives and liberals. Okay students today we will discuss about the Russian Revolution. So let's start our today's online session. October Revolution 1917. Okay students I am telling you about the some incidents of October Revolution 1917. Listen, students, growing the conflict between the provincial government and Bolshevik group. Students, in the given picture, you are observing there is a conflict between the two groups. These two groups are provisional government and Bolshevik group. Okay, students, there was a fearing about the setting up of the dictatorship by provisional government Lenin. Yes, students, secret plan of action was devised for seizing power. Again, the uprising began on 24 October 1917 with both the sides trying to the consolidated power. It ended with all Russian Congress of Soviets in Petrograd approving the Bolshevik actions. Okay, students, so lastly, heavy fighting in other cities. Bolsheviks took hold of Moscow and Petrograd by the December. In such a way, that's one, in entire Russia, there was a power of Bolshevik group slowly slowly it was growing in entire russia okay students next point what changed after the october revolution 1917 listen students i am telling you about the some changes that occurred during that time first private property was opposed second industries and banks were nationalized then land was declared social property old titles of aristocracy banned then large houses Partitioned as per the family required. Then Lenin dismissed the assembly after failing to gain majority and support in elections to constituent assembly. Russia became one party state. Trade unions were kept under the village, uh, vigilance. Okay, so once many Bolshevik followers became dissolutions by the way of the party functions. So, so once these were the changes occurred during the October Revolution, that means during, not during, after the October Revolution, that entire changes were occurred after the October Revolution 1917. Next point is the Civil War. Okay, students, I am telling you about that. The Civil War happened during the Russian Revolution. Listen, the decision of redistribution of land by Bolsheviks caused breakup of army. Students, there was clashes between the supporters of autocracy, liberals and Bolshevik soldiers started. It refers as the civil war. Okay students, the pro tsarists and the socialist revolutionaries fought a civil war with Bolsheviks. Bolsheviks troops during the 1918 and 1919. Students, non-Bolsheviks took harsh steps against the peasants. This made them unpopular. The Bolsheviks took the help of the non-Russian people and Muslim Jadidists to take control of most of the former Russian Empire by 1920. That means once Bolshevik troops were behaving very badly, cruelly with peasants and workers. Most non-Russian nationalists were given political autonomy in the USSR. Students, USSR means what? What? Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, USSR, and created by the Bolsheviks in 1922. Most of the non Russian nationalists were given political autonomy in the USSR and created by the Bolsheviks in 1922. Okay, so, so this is the information about the civil war during the first quarter of the 20th century. Stalinism. Okay, students, Joseph Stalin. Listen, students, in the given slide, the first picture is the picture of Joseph Stalin. Yes, Joseph Stalin became the leader of Soviet Communist Party after the death of Lenin. Listen, students, after the death of Vladimir Lenin, Joseph Stalin became the leader of Soviet Communist Party in January 1924. Students, by the 1927 28, 
The towns in Russia were facing an acute problem of grain supplies. The government fixed prices of grains, but the peasants refused to sell their grain to government buyers at these prices, that means at low prices. Stalin believed that the rich peasants and traders in the countryside were holding stocks in the hope of higher prices. Yes, students, stock holding of crops and other things in the hope of higher prices. So, this thing refers to introduce the collectivization of Soviet agriculture. Okay, students, in such of that, Stalin introduced the collectivization of Soviet agriculture. Students, it brought the great majority of peasants into collective and state farms. In 1928, party members destroyed the grain producing areas and supervising enforced the grain collection and reading the kulakas. Students, who were the kulakas? Kulakas were the rich peasants of Russia. After 1917, land had been handed over the peasants for the development of modern farm it was necessary to eliminate the kulakas and take away land from peasants and establish the large state control farms okay so in such a that this is the ideology of stalin yes it refers to stalinism and collectivization the global influence of the russian revolution and ussr Okay, students, I am telling you some points which states the global influences of the Russian Revolution. Okay, students, first, what Bolsheviks were criticized the way they worked. Students, they were popular across the world. Second point, communist parties began to be formed around the world. Then, socialism received a global presence and administration. No doubt, USSR became a great power with the development of industries and agriculture students development was carried out with repression then and last one socialist ideas were rethought around the world so students these are the impacts just we can see that they are the influences of the russian revolution on the world okay students on the basis of thought portion some assignment question i am giving you okay students in such a way that this lesson is finished in the next online session we will learn new lesson okay students so till then thank you very much and have a nice day